Here we are at Dogguola Pass. Rio Veins Castle has been cleared. Now we're on our way to Zeltenia. We hit Dogguola Pass here. Uh, this is a, a battle of generics. It is a bunch of humans, mix of magely types and tankly types. It's a well-balanced party that we are up against. So we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm confident that uh, with our characters as overleveled as they are, uh, we should have little trouble in cleaning up this battle. Any battle where you have set uh, set stats, you can see we have two Lancers, the Knight, two Wizards, and the Archer up there. It's probably not worth it to put on Arrow Guard in this battle with just one Archer. Uh, and especially when that Archer does not have a height advantage on us. Outside of uh, Royal Vane's Castle, it was very, very worth it to have Arrow Guard because those Archers were up top and able to rain arrows down on us like crazy all day. They were going to be plinking us every single round of the battle um, and showering us with arrows. So there is a hit on the wizard right away. Thank you, thank you, wizard. Thank you, thank you, wizard. And those are probably my biggest uh, adversaries here. Those are, those are my most threatening enemies would be my wizards. And Mustadio cannot quite get to that wizard up top, but he can hit the wizard down below. And gets a crit to land. Thankfully, he gets a crit to land. Very good. And we'll see if we can take that wizard out right away. It appears that we can by my first count right there. And look at that wizard down right there. So we can feel free to bunch up our guys up here. Uh, without fear from the wizard down below. Now the question is, can we take out the wizard above before he's able to come charge something big onto a group of us? So I don't like to bunch us up too early, but by getting us up here, we may be able to put some damage on him before he's able to do anything too crazy. Now, I don't think I can hit him from here. Yeah, I can't quite reach from where he is, so we are just going to wait. We are just going to hang out. And again, I don't think I can get a character into position on him on this side. So we're going to back it up and just kind of chill here for a while. The knight not posing too much of a threat. Don't see an elemental skill on there. Uh, he is charging something big. So let's see if we can get one more action before he is able to go. And that was one of the reasons I left my other archer not taking an action. To see if he can get a turn more quickly. Um, as he moved, if he gets an action, he can move up and plunk a charging wizard. That was done semi on purpose, semi on purpose. It wasn't uh, specifically planned out. Um, but with that in mind, I, I did make that plan. He doesn't have the line of sight to attack through Ramza, so he's going to have to move up. And he can target him from here. He's moving technically into harm's way, but he has more than enough damage to take out the wizard before the spell. So I kind of had that in mind as I moved him back there. The wizard would move up to target a spell. He would get a turn more quickly because he waited. Uh, and sure enough, that worked out. And I've done that a couple of times in this game. Those are some of my prouder uh, Final Fantasy Tactics moments in this run. Um, but again, with, with my levels, what they are, uh, I will not probably have to do any significant uh, leveling up for quite some time in this game. I mean, I will likely finish this game at very, very, very high levels um, because I plan on doing the deep dungeon and uh, getting all those weapons and doing a lot of extra content. Also, I'm thinking the last couple of battles I will just need to be a very, very high level to do. I'm thinking about, you know, Ultima, and I'm thinking about the 3,000 or whatever hit points that uh, the final Bloody Angel has. And my party not able to heal. That's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm thinking about right now. So. Anyway. Ultimus Bows on the Lancer. No problem. We did take one big jump attack there. But with both wizards gone. Uh, we can feel free to position ourselves however we'd like. And I want to use this height advantage as much to our advantage as we can. So I've got an archer there with a hunting bow. Who is able to hit us, you know, is able to charge some attacks up. Uh, the Lancers and Knights are what I'm really a little more worried about, though. Because they can boost their damage with jumps. Uh, if the Knight can get up to where we are, 
He could break a weapon. He could, you know, hit us with with a big triple digit hit, maybe with a platinum sword or something. I haven't looked at what he has. Um, that archer, I'm just not quite so worried about. He's going to be giving us speed saves with his uh, hunting bow. <laughs> so that's what we're kind of using him for. He's plinking us and giving us speed saves. Can't quite hit that Lancer, so I'm going to spread the damage out a little bit. That Lancer is in, in full retreat mode, so as long as he is uh, not the last member of this team alive, he's going to be retreating. So I'm, I'm just trying to decide if I want to go after the, the Knight or the Charging um, Archer. And I do go after the Charging Archer there. Just to get the damage boost. Um, here's Ramza. Again, trying to decide, do I want to just take this archer out and finish him off just to have him out of the way? And there I do decide to do that because I, I don't see the knight as all that much of a threat. I can pop him from here and then wait so I can get my next turn more quickly. It's going to be hard for that knight to get up. They don't have the kind of jump that, uh, that, that we do. Not saying he can't get to us, but... It's going to be a little bit more challenging for him. So I want to stay up high here and stay um, in range. And let's hit him with our charged attack down there. So charge plus one is going to go off right after mine. Just checking everything, looking at the tiles. Um, I can check in the damage on the Lancer and the Knight. Both of them need to go down. The damage is pretty low on that Knight, unfortunately. Um, but using the weight, and that knight is weak. He is also going to go into retreat mode when he's in critical. This lancer is the only healthy party member left. He's going to go for just a regular physical attack, not for the jump. He must have decided that his jump wouldn't have landed. Uh, he can't quite take my character out. He gets him into critical. Ramza is looking at the knight, looking at the lancer. Where can I do more damage? What do I need to do here? Not a lot of threat. Probably either way, I could I could adjust to it. I decided to go for this healthy Lancer, um, as the other characters are in just like full on bail mode. They're just they're fleeing, running for their life because they've got save fading life uh, AI set. So we're gonna see if we can mark this Lancer for death, 160. And so I need to just do 50 more damage to that Lancer. So if I can do 50 more damage, he will be marked for death. Certainly that is more than enough to do the trick. So he will die when Mustadio's turn fires. So I can safely um, go after one of these weak characters. I can go after this knight right here. And certainly enough damage to take him out. And now I can go after that Lancer. I'm going to use the height advantage to extend my range. Down he goes. Now, Ramza will get a turn, and Ramza, just for just for the boost in experience, although technically I really don't want tons more experience in hindsight, um, I'd rather not pick up another level before the Fineth River. I should have just let the charged attack go, but that just was a habit for me to do an extra plink in the middle of a charge so that both characters could get some, uh, some experience. So, there is Dugula Pass on our way to Zeltenia.